All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Darkwood. So this is a new game in my channel. It will be a new series. <laughs> it kind of gives me Seven Days to Die vibes. I don't know about you guys. We have done Seven Days to Die on this channel a couple times. I know both were with Porcupine, but background. Oh, <laughs> it actually moves around with my cursor. That's actually kind of cool. Background and the music style. It definitely gives me Seven Days to die vibe. I literally just loaded this for the first time. I'm gonna load in right away so that way I'm not just talking the whole time. Um, we'll leave it on normal and we won't skip the prologue because we are definitely new here. Indiegogo content. I have no idea what that means. But, oh, unless we can only play normal? Oh, here we go. Unforgiving mode. You have a limited number of lives. After that, it's game over. Yeah, no thanks. Nightmare, the ultimate thrill, death is permanent. Ouch. Uh, yeah, we'll just play normal. Forgiving when dying, you drop a part of your equipment. So that's not bad. Uh, we'll keep that. Skip prologue, no. Enables additional cool, but immersion breaking content. See, I don't know. Immersion, if, I don't want to break the immersion. So just say no, because I have no idea what it is anyways. So, uh, yeah, we'll leave it off, because I want to be immersed into this. I actually want to be spooked. This is the first time I've ever loaded up. I've never seen anything about this game. So it's going to be the same, it's first same as well for me as it is with you guys. Challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods, be patient, and focus. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, Muck is very unforgiving as well, so if this is more of a story slash survival game, I guess. I don't know if it's unforgiving, but you can still save it. I mean, obviously if we die, we can still respawn. Very interesting, though. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. Was that? Okay, that's kind of creepy. I also shouldn't be playing this in the dark. As if I was responsible for spreading the disease. Oh no, they have COVID. E. As if I were the source of all misery plaguing this land. I do apologize if my voice isn't loud enough. I'm trying to keep my mic away so I don't like sound like I'm eating my mic. I have nowhere to hide from them. Nowhere to run. The woods have closed off from the outside world. That's a cool house. Oh, no, I just realized there's some creepy person in there. We are all doomed. Da da da. Oh, going blind. The screen went white. So it is kind of more like a story, but it's not like just survival. So yeah, it is a top-down game. Normally, I'm not a fan of these, but it was on sale, and it looked pretty cool, and I saw some good reviews. So, oh, we could drag the chair. What is this, like, Animal Crossing? No way. Also, I see, like, a bunch of weird flies or stuff. Alright, stop dragging. Uh, ooh. We got pills. And a notepad. Oh, do we actually, like, able to scribble our own stuff on here? That'd be kind of cool. Alright. Uh, is that the whole table? Okay, it's not separate drawers, I don't think. Alcohol distiller. Uh, homemade device for producing moonshine. Okay, I guess we have nothing, though. We can't pick up bottles. So... Oh, barricaded window. It is very dark outside. Like, that's, that's creepy. Okay, where does this go? Ooh. What? I see. Now we got a bunch of lights. The generator's almost out of juice. I need to find a full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I can find some gasoline there. So okay, so the so the east. East over here. I also like how the cars flipped over. Um I really hope that this person here isn't gonna do anything to me. Shoes? Nope, nothing. So do bear with me. It's just getting used to this game here. I've never done anything with it. 
the camera. Ooh. Nice zoomed in picture, although I don't know why it shows us that. I don't really think it's that important. So I hear some clanking going on in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that too. My medical bag. My old useless medical bag. Wait, can I just... Hey, there we go. I can put it there. Uh, I don't think it needs to be out anywhere else. Photo. What is this? Is that... Uh, December 6th, 1985? Or is that in European dates or like German dates where it's June 12th? Can't tell. Oh, there's a creepy face though here. I don't know if you guys can see that. You got the eyes, the mouth. It's not really too easy to see. Okay, that's good. Ooh! Haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyways. Ah, yes. Okay, I don't like the sound of whatever's banging around. Um... I guess we'll go in the room with the other light. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. I see, okay. So we actually have to be a decent distance. Examine the bed, I've just woken up. But you were over there, what are you talking about? Radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. Ah, uh, yes. We can't really do anything with it that I noticed. Uh, Monica. Never heard of that brand. I don't want to dismantle the window. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Okay, fine. What? Uh, I don't know what the hell that big beeping was. Ooh, alcohol. Nice. Why don't we put that in the generator? Open the front door to my house with this. Oh boy. What? I just clicked it and it disappeared. Uh oh. I hope I didn't break the game. Matchsticks. Medical book. Oh! Weeds, uh, something. Oh, it's all blurry. I can't even read it. What? Okay, whatever. Looks like some weird infectious disease that's eaten away at their face. They're all zombies. I must not enter this room right now. It looks like a medical room. I also like how he has to use his flashlight inside the house. Uh, is that a container or is that a cellar? Lock is jammed a long time ago, never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyways. Okay, fine. Okay, something's banging around. I don't know if there's like those trees. Okay, it's definitely spooky. Cage. Aw, oh, I don't have any pets. Okay, fine. Um, to the east I go. What? I already have the key. The cursor has a plus icon next to it. You can hold left mouse button to open the selected objects in the action menu. Oh, I see. Open, barricade, use key. Unlocked with the key. I hope I don't have to lock it, because I might be slow. Uh-oh. Oh, okay, at least it's pretty bright outside. I don't like that that dog is moving. He's on a leash, it looks like. <laughs> um. Okay, good, that's a wooden doll. Carved out face. Oh, no. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. Oh no, it was his dog? No. Get rope from here. Poor dog. I just have to let him sit here. I can't do anything. Oh no. Well, let's try and see if we can make our way around. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I can run. Nice. Oh, they can't see myself really too well underneath here. What? Oh, I'm still back underneath. Oh, I do have a stamina meter too. Okay. Can I jump? 
Uh, press, press space to vault over obstacles. Oh, so I can. Okay, so this is a fence I gotta jump over. Oh, I see. So I can't just jump anywhere I want. That makes sense. I'm sorry, puppy. I wish I could save you. Oh no, please don't tell me that sound mechanics are actually a part of, like, surviving. Ooh. Uh, X, please. What are you doing? Don't have any skills to use yet. Wait. Do you not have an inventory? I know you picked up an axe. With weapons selected in your hotbar, hold right mouse to take aim, then press left mouse to aim while well, aiming to attack. Uh, yes, but how do I open up your backpack? Oh! Okay, that just brings me back to the menu menu. I'm just going to spam pressing buttons. Oh, hey! It's a map. Position on the map is not marked. When you discover a new location, it will be added to your map. The location you are currently in is indicated in red. In order to not get lost, you need to learn how to determine your position relative to the discovered locations and landmarks. Okay, well, that's kind of basically understood. Okay, something I can't do. I pressed a button that you can't do that yet. Nope. No buttons for inventory. Oh, wait, there we go. I actually have to hold tab to do that. Nice. Okay. I see. Back. Uh. Oh, I actually have to chop down the tree. Damn. Dead cow. These trees are going too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Nah, you're just not a good man. You're not doing your job. I can't pick that up. Exam. Ah, there we go. Pick up. Dead cow. <laughs> Let me take your bones, sir. Yeah, I do apologize. I do not have time to edit these videos, sadly. Because normally I would like to, but I'm going to be very busy with work. Uh, this next week and a half, starting on Wednesday. I don't, I'm not sure when this is going to post. So it's probably going to come out on Wednesday, to be honest. So starting today, for the next week and a half, up until um, the first Monday after October 22nd, uh, we're going to be doing this, just trying to upload videos. And then after that, we will be back to normal. So that should probably be, what, October 24th or 25th, something like that, that, that Monday. We'll be going back to our streaming and uploading videos every once in a while. I have left shift to run. Alright, access map, press M, I already know that. Woods have devoured all the roads that connect us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this. This thicket. Aw, oh, that kinda sucks. Unless outside world's bad anyways. Ooh, burn campfire. Match. Ooh, I can shift click. Uh, yes, please. That is very good to know. I'm so happy that's a thing. Parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. What's the flashlight then for? Can't say that I've ever been to a part of the woods that are so dark that a flashlight is worse than a torch. So at least you can aim your flashlight like farther down. Alright, uh, craft. Oh, okay, I gotta hold tab. Or press tab. Why is that one red? Oh, I see, I can't make it, but it's made with gasoline. Ah, I can make it with alcohol. That's actually kinda nice. Do it that way. Okay, I just press tab, I don't have to hold it. Uh, here we go, and then press tab again, number two, uh, here we go, very nice. I really hope this doesn't have a durability, I'd be sad, although I wouldn't be surprised. Abandoned house, 
Uh, can I go inside? I don't see anything in there. I have to jump in the window. Oh, and he takes so long to like pull out his stuff. That's not nice. Wait, no, I don't want that. Bread. Nice. So, like I was saying, this is somewhat survival, but I think it's more of a story game instead. Okay, I really hope this isn't durability. Because half of it's red almost. Oof. Come on, buddy. I need to find a gas station. Alright, we're just gonna go up and around this place. E! In a few days, it'll be completely absorbed. I also like how you look away from it, it disappears. Oh, look at that. There's just a huge dead deer person thing. I guess it is fitting though, doing spooky games, getting close to Halloween. Heck yeah. If there's any other... Oh. <laughs> what was that? Is that my feet on this weird floor? Uh, Repair doorway? No thanks. Although I don't even know what I need. Do I have wood? Oh, I do have boards. Maybe that was from chopping down trees as well. Scrap metal. Okay. But yeah, I know there's a lot more horror games out there, but if there's like some really good ones, like really scary ones, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind suggesting those, I'll check those out. It'd be definitely nice for Halloween. No room in inventory. You need a bigger backpack, my guy. So I'm probably trying not to keep these episodes too long. Try and make sure to like get something decent done. I think this one is still breathing. Oh no. Uh, okay, goodbye. You can just breathe somewhere else. Oh, this is water. Okay, I had a feeling. <laughs> I like how it disappears. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, okay, I can't see my cursor too well. Give him the old disco party before he dies. Alright, what's going on, dude? Unconscious man. <gasps> Ooh. If there is an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. Uh, here you go, buddy. Here, take take that. You can have a bottle. I want your key. 21. Uh-oh. We did something. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key and some journal. Oh, you just made a mistake, buddy. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. What? Did you murder him? Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh, I see. That's that big metal room we had in our place. But that is not an issue. Oh, no. Do we have the power to just, like, take memories out of people? Some weird... Okay, that's kind of creepy. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You hear me, rat? Show me how, and I will let you go. Unless he just, like, paralyzed him with, like, certain drugs and stuff. I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Well, must have lost his lady. Where is the exit? Where? Oh no, now he's trying to struggle out of the chair. Eee! What? I don't want to be a bad guy. Aw, he just punched the dude. Oh shit! Okay, that's not going to be nice. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. What? See, now you just left him with all that spare stuff laying around on the floor. He could easily escape. Yeah, watch it. He's going to escape. I knew it. Look at that. 
motherfucker stole my key. No, what? Oh, man. We're playing as this guy now? Uh oh. Um. An entry to a small cellar. Maybe the pantry. No way. So are we going to be able to choose who we want to continue with? Like, if we want to be the bad guy? Ah! I can't get out. Uh oh What is this? Wire? Rag? I can't craft anything. Can't do anything with this. No. Oh, wait. Duh. I'm an idiot. Search. Okay. Didn't know I had a lockpick on me. I don't have any lockpicks. Am I supposed to craft one? Ah, there we go. Okay. I had a feeling we were supposed to be able to craft one with the stupid wire that we had. Bada bing, bada boom. We are gonna get out of this room. Ooh. Shovel and a flashlight. Oh, they look like they're both almost dead. <laughs> just gonna beat our way out of this room. Nice. What? Oh, I got my shovel. Yeah, buddy. Let's get out of here. See, it's breaking. Oh, it's no longer usable. Oh. oh let's use our flashlight. Actually, it can turn on and off. I can't completely turn it off, though. Oh, what? No, I just had to beat the lock. No. You were just there, dude. Syringe. Let's take it. Jab the man in the neck. What the hell? No more doggy dog. Switch off. Uh. It was okay, it was already on. Nope. Don't want it. Room's giving me bad vibes. Okay, the door's right here only? Okay. What? <laughs> These sounds are just no. I don't like it. Ooh, it's all bloody. Nice. Can I take it? Okay, whatever. Hopefully that's not important. <laughs> Who the hell is screeching? Uh, okay, we have nothing in here. Open. He's gonna be in here. I'm willing to bet. Um. Hello, sir. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, we're out of gas, that's why. <laughs> no. I don't want to be here. Oh boy. He's gonna jump us while we're in this crate. No? Ooh. We do have gasoline though. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat this dude with a table leg. Alright, our shovel's dead, so let's do this. Refill the generator, equip the gasoline tank, hover the cursor over the generator, hold the right mouse button, followed by left mic. Okay. I see. Does it tell us how full? Oh, I see it down the bottom bar. Okay. I'm gonna use all the gasoline because I'm cool like that. Oh boy. Buddy. Ooh! No! Where'd you come from? What? Has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. And I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. What? Where did you come from? You better not get off the floor. No, dude. 
Oh, what? I don't know. Yes, zero, zero, zero. Confirm. Wrong code. <gasps> uh oh. Please let me out. Wait. Did we find anything? Bandages. We did not. Nothing there. 4892. No way. Now it's gone. The, ba the body's gone, dude. Four. Oh, wait, I went the wrong way. Eight. Nine. Two. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> door seems stuck. Oh, I need to hit it? Fine. Move it, damn it. Yeah. Who's here? Get a flashlight on you. Oh, they're gonna be on the other side of this wall, I know, but I just wanna check it out first. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fucking shit! Oh my. Oh no, I. <laughs> Oh, I jumped out of my chair, damn it. Oh, that scared the hell out of me. I was not expecting you to. Even though I completely should have. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you, you sound weird as hell. Oh, man. Okay, now I got the chills and the shivers. Oh, he's dead now. A plastic chick. Oh, man. See, this is the only good time that would have been good to have like a face cam because you could actually see and I'm not just saying that I jumped. Like, that legit scared the hell out of me because you can't see around the corner with your flashlight. Oof, man, this, okay, this thing's creepy. Okay, I have a feeling that this game is going to be a bit scarier than I was expecting. Not like completely terrifying, but just probably some good jump scares. Dirty dog. You think? Wait, you said something. I couldn't even hear. You think something could happen? Hear it? Oh no. Oh no. 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 Oh no, I want close the door. Close it, close it, close it. And I, now I'm getting freaked out. Oh no. Yeah, definitely playing this at night without any lights on is not a good idea. But I'm willing to bet there's a lot scarier games easily. Who's this? Got some pretty big gloves on. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Chapter 1. Yes, so thank you very much everybody who has checked out this first video. If you did like it, please leave a like, and if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. We are going to be doing more, plus a lot of other different video games throughout this week. Um, but yeah, we're going to end it there, and can't wait to see you guys in the next one. I'll see you later. Blaze out.